Now, my next guest is best known for being the lead designer of Payday. His new game is a four-player co-op shooter that looks downright terrifying. Here to give us an exclusive new look at his new game, GTFO, that we revealed for the first time at the Game Awards last December, is the creative director of 10 Chambers, Mr. Ulf Anderson. Uh, Ulf, great to have you with us. I know you flew just in. You guys have been working uh, so hard because the game is playable here at E3, right? Yes, it is, actually. First time. First time. Well, uh, it was so fun to have you in December at the Game Awards. Uh, you know, it was such an amazing year for me to debut so many great games. And GTFO was one of those games that came out of nowhere. People didn't know what to expect, but they saw the gameplay powered by Unity, and they were like, wow, this looks visceral and intense. And you guys are now giving us an exclusive new look at uh, how the game has progressed in the past uh, six months. So yeah. tell us, uh, yeah. what's new? What can you tell us? Um, I mean, one of the big things for us was uh, the Game Awards really sort of pushed us towards where the game is now. Yeah. Like, we weren't nearly here. We were, like, in the gameplay sense there, yeah. but graphically we were, like, far off, yeah. right? So the Game Awards sort of pushed us into, like, really having to deliver on the, the vision of that. Yeah. So uh, after, after that show, we sort of had to make everything work to that level yeah. and just, you know, polish everything up. So that's what we've been doing, just making sure that everything is, you know, rolling like it should be and playing like it should be. So um, it's actually been uh, quite a lot of fun because we started to do, you know, uh, play testing and stuff like that. You're just playing with friends, usually. And uh, the reception has been fairly good so far. It's really good uh, stuff. Well, I think everyone reacted so positively to sort of the look and feel of the game and the, the atmosphere and the lighting. Um, it just it, it feels so intense and obviously terrifying with some of these creatures. So tell us here at E3, are, are we seeing any new weapons? Are we seeing new enemies? What's new? Yeah, we're seeing a bunch of the, uh, stuff that we haven't seen before. Yeah. We're seeing some uh, melee action going on. Uh, we're also seeing uh, the sneak mechanics okay. being displayed here, for example. There's an enemy here we call the scout that's sort of uh, throwing out these tendrils that you have to avoid. Uh -huh. And if you do actually uh, somehow wake him up or sort of get in contact with those, yeah. it will you know, bring in some other baddie. Okay. Uh, so you have to, you know, cooperatively try to solve these sneaking puzzles. Cooperative uh, stealth. Yes. Okay. Which is terrifying in itself. I was going to say, yeah, that's, yeah, like, yeah. that's a whole genre, the cooperative yeah, yeah. stealth genre. Yeah. So, um, so we do a lot of crazy stuff that's not uh really i mean i think it's been tried before a lot yeah but uh it, it's really hard to get to this point it's taken us about three years to get here right uh, so it's been a lot of work just trying to get to that you know getting a game that has this dramatic curve in it where you can go from sneaking to combat back to sneaking yeah and and actually do, never to the point where you're like if you get detected you don't yeah. quit the game and, oh, let's restart. There's always uh, like a benefit to continuing. As long as, as, long as you can survive, yes. uh, you're, you should be fine. You know? Wow, and that's, uh, you know, as you said, four of you all together sort of going through these environments. Yeah. Um, so when you play testing, it must be fun in the office because it's like everyone together trying to go through this. Yeah, that, that's actually one of the reasons why we make uh, four player games. Yeah. It's because you can, or uh, cooperative games, you can yeah. actually play them as a developer and play them fresh as yeah. a developer. As a team. And uh, I know yeah, you guys, yeah, because like single player games, I've, I've done quite a lot of those before, yeah. and it's just, you know the story, you know where every baddie is, and you know yeah. all the ins and outs of it. And this is more, you know, there's a lot of, uh, we have a, a very, quite, a quite advanced generative like tool set to make maps. Uh -huh. um, took us ages to make too. Uh, but like to be able to create things fairly quickly, yeah. and it's sort of, part locked in and part generated. So when we play uh, in the office, we might actually stumble upon places that we've never seen before. And that gives us the sort of insight that the, you know, how the player will experience the game in a similar fashion. Wow. Now, when we saw you at the Game Awards, I remember you telling us that we're, you know, 10 chambers collected means 10 guys. And we're like, we yeah. might have one or two extra guys, but how many people are you up to now? Uh, we're, uh, we're, <laughs> we're actually down to Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, sometimes you know it doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, but uh, and we're working with uh, two more outsourcing guys. Okay. Like for periods of time. So you're really eight chambers now? Yeah, I guess so. I guess. Are so. two empty chambers? Yeah. Two filled, empty right? chambers. Exactly. Right now. Um, yeah. And you're working with Unity on this a little bit, which yeah. I think is really cool because yeah. uh, you know I remember one of the great things about the Game Awards is you showed this off, and then everyone sort of said like, "What is this game?" Mm -hmm. And you know, we did a great job keeping it secret when we first talked about it. Yeah. Um, so tell us, you're you're really pushing, I think, the Unity tech in some interesting directions, right? Yeah, yeah. 
the, uh, the Unity engine has sort of taken some flack, I think, and, and has a, a bad and a wrong reputation, I yeah. think, for, for doing a certain ki type of game. Yeah. And there's a, a bunch of titles coming out that sort of proves that being yep. different. And for us, it's really been a, a nice uh, journey of just... Before this, we usually did our own tech all yeah. for every game, you know? And just having, like, a <laughs> fairly huge... Uh, engine team, yeah, because it is the whole of Unity basically uh, to support you, and, and uh, I mean, it's just been a very different type of experience. Being able to focus on gameplay, yeah, and being able to you know go in and write very specific like GPU stuff or yes. very specific stuff. Um, wow, well, that's awesome. Well, is this what people are going to get to play behind closed doors at E3? Uh, I d it's not this map actually. Okay, it's a different map. Oh wow, but it's right, the same cool. gameplay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I said like I think. What everyone saw is that fast, visceral action, in your face, super intense, yeah. uh, which we'd expect. And then with you know four players going through this together, uh, the puzzle solving, and as you said, the uh, the group stealth is quite the experience. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's looking great, and I'm glad you guys are here at E3, yeah. putting the game well, on the map. Yeah. Well, it's um, it's a, a big effort, I know, to get it ready. Yeah, uh, it, it, it was. We were in game testing anyway, so we were yeah. sort of in that location, but but. Since we don't have a publisher, a traditional sense, yeah. we need deadlines. Yeah. That's like the big thing with the publishers for me, is yeah. like having the, de the deadline. Forcing function to do Yeah, and Game yeah. Awards was one yeah. of those, where we actually had like this deadline. And E3, yeah. another one. So I'm just trying to get, you know, get into partnerships where I can get deadlines, basically. Yes, well, it looks great. And again, as Phil Spencer said on stage today at Xbox, it's so great to see some of these studios that are really big and really small, still doing incredible work. And the fact that, you know, eight guys are putting this game together yeah, yeah. Um, is amazing. So, well, thank you so much for joining us thank for you. YouTube Live at E3. And if people want to find out more about GTFO, follow you guys online, right? I know you have mm -hmm. a newsletter and yeah, yeah, keep yeah. people updated on it, right? Yeah, for the ambassador. Yeah. We have an ambassador program that you can join and get all the information awesome. running all the time. Awesome. Cool. Okay. Good luck. We'll see you again, hopefully, at the Game Awards yes, uh, 2018 <laughs> and December 6th. Yeah, uh, lots of fun. Thanks yeah. again for showing us GTFO.